Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. <laughs> I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you. I love you, Mama Mary. 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 Love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. Love you, Mama Mary. Okay, bye. We love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. Oh. Love you, Mama Mary.
Please join us, sisters and brothers, as we pray the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protector against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good morning, sisters and brothers. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. Today's Mass is offered for the intention requested by our parishioners, the intentions posted on this live stream, and we also ask our Lord for His protection, His joy, and holiness. Our presider is Father Percival Tayem OFM. Please rise and join us in singing the entrance hymn. and generosity in our hearts we begin our celebration in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit good morning sisters and brothers in Christ um, in our gospel today it's a beautiful gospel I would say because here we will be hearing that Jesus is praying not, on, not for himself, but for his disciples, for you and for me, for our welfare and our well-being. So as we come together in this Holy Eucharist, we thank the Lord for, again, giving us this wonderful moment to see the wonders of his creation and recognizing that we are not perfect beings we have our own weaknesses and limitations. And so we ask the Lord to bless us, especially the blessing of forgiveness. Together we say, I confess to Almighty my God, God and to and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done in, in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my, my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseas, in which you tend to the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw disciples away from after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up, give you an inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by, by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. Keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show for the God your power, the power of God with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds. The voice of power confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel his majesty, his power is in disguise. Ozam is his sanctuary, is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just we are one when i was with them i protected them in your name that you gave me and i guarded them and none of them was lost except the son of destruction in order that the scriptures might be fulfilled but now i am coming to you I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. 
I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more that I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world and consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. I prepared a very short reflection today, but part of this reflection, I will be sharing to you my personal experience, of course, about the power of prayer. But I would like to share with you a very small, a short story. A man would always pray to God, and he would always pray for himself alone. Through the grace of God, the man would always receive what he prayed for. When he died, he was ushered by an angel to a room full with the things that he prayed for. The man thanked the angel for giving him the things that he wanted. Then he noticed that he was alone. So he asked the angel, Why I am alone? The angel told him, You're alone for a simple reason, that you would always pray for yourself when you were still alive. You never pray bothered to pray for others. Your prayer was always for yourself. Sisters and brothers in Christ, as Jesus was set to leave his apostles, he prayed for their welfare that they always be in God's protection and care. And we just have heard in the gospel how beautiful that prayer of Jesus was. He did not pray for himself. He prayed for you and for me, for our well-being, for our protection, for our own good. So how about us when we pray? Is it always as present in our prayers? Or we never bother to pray for ourselves for the reason that we believe that God knows everything about us, including our needs? Sisters and brothers, God is an all-knowing God. He knows everything about us, including our needs and prayers for Him. Therefore, it would be better instead of praying for ourselves, we instead pray for others. I remember when I was a novice, preparing myself for some prof profession, I was really struggling in the aspect of prayer. It was, honestly speaking, not every day you are always in the mood to pray. And I, I um, talked to one of my spiritual director in formation and said, why is it that every time I pray as if I cannot feel God's presence? And he said, you know, Percy, when you pray, do not pray for yourself because many are praying for you. You better pray for others instead than yourself. Because I do believe, he says, Many people knew that you are inside the seminary and they want you to persevere in your vocation and they're praying for you. You don't have to ask God anymore about yourself, but instead ask God about the needs of others. Well, in that encounter, I was a little bit, you know, enlightened and I came to learn, yeah, my role is not really to pray for myself, but as a religious as St. Clair says, let us fill the world with prayer. Regardless of you are religious or not, 
one way, the best way of communicating ourselves to God is prayer. Especially in this time of pandemic, where do we pray? Whom do we pray? Whom we approach at this moment in time? Of course, to God. And I believe that we have our common prayer that soon this pandemic will gonna be end and we come back to a normal situation wherein we can interact with one another. Can you just imagine? Almost more than two weeks already our church is empty. And how I wish with God's blessings and mercy that one day we will all be together celebrating the Holy Eucharist with your presence. And we've been praying for that. So this does not mean that we will not anymore have our own personal prayers when we pray for others and petitions before God. We will still, still have our prayers for God, but we put forward first the interest and needs of others before our own. For God, I believe, brothers and sisters, doesn't want us to become a person for ourselves only. He always wants us to become a person for others. To finish my sharing with you about, I'm telling you the, about the power of prayer, 2002, because 2003 I was sent to Sri Lanka for mission, I was assigned in Basilan right after my ordination. And, ah, 2003, right after my ordination, I was assigned in Basilan. And there was a time that I was alone in the house. My brother priest went to Rome for their pilgrimage, a holy land, I would say. And early in the morning, around three o'clock, there were there was these five armed men who came in our house and they were knocking forcefully our door. And as I slowly opened our door, my door in my room, just to see who's knocking because they are really, you know, binubugbog nila yung pintuan namin. And I said, if this, if, there's, if this is an emergency, the people knew me, they should call my name. Because in that area, we were the only one who have this, you know, service, this car. And if it's an emergency, then I could just bring them right away to the hospital. But as I noticed, these five men, I saw the gun that they were carrying. And I know how rebel carry their guns as compared to the soldiers. Then I immediately concluded that, Lord, these are not soldiers. These are rebel, rebel, or rebels. Well, I'm telling you this story not because to create bias against our Muslim brothers and sisters, but I'm telling you this story because how I want to share with you, uh, with you how God spared me with this trying moment. So the five armed men must really forcefully open in the door. It's just that because we have two bars of, of, of metal inside, you know, to support our door. And they keep on knocking. And when I learned that these are rebels, I have nothing to do than to pray. Then I said to the Lord, Lord, if this is it, into your hands. I commend my spirit. I surrender myself to God because I don't know what will happen next if they will come inside the house. So they just keep on, you know, banging the door. And then I came to my senses. I was holding my rosary and then I prayed. I said, Lord, I remember we have pigs and dogs at the back of the house. Because if I'm going to shout and ask help from our neighborhood, nobody will wake up because all these people around us are all tired from, you know, from work in the farm. Then I asked the Lord, Lord, please allow the pigs and the dogs to create noise. In a split second, 
that made me cry because not even five minutes after my prayer, believe it or not, the dogs and the pigs nag-duet. Sabay silang nag-create ng ingay. And then, because of the rebels are afraid of pigs because it's haram and the dogs are, you know, creating noise so loudly, so they ran away. Prayer. This is how God intervened, especially if we are in time of crisis, if we are in time of danger, and ask the Lord to protect us. He is always there. So, sisters and brothers, if you yourself are experiencing chaos, difficulties, problems in your life, close your eyes and ask the Lord to come and rescue you through your prayers. And I will assure you 101%, He is always there to guide us, to rescue us, even to the point of answering to our prayers. So as we come together in this Holy Eucharist, let us offer all to God our prayers and concerns. Those people asking for our prayers, because if there's only one who can satisfy our needs, it's only God. And if there are people who will come, they are God's instru instrument to our prayers. So, believe in the power of prayer. Believe in the power of God. It is in the gospel that even Jesus himself is not praying for himself, but is praying for all of us. And we pray together that soon as this COVID-19 will gonna be end. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even as we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. This truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Christ who wills that no one be lost. In every petition response be, Father, consecrate us to yourself. Father, consecrate us to yourself that all Christians may have faith in God's love and find unity in the one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself that public servants may witness to the truth of their faith especially in the exercise of their powers and in the fulfillment of their responsibilities let us pray to the Lord father consecrate us to yourself that the Christian faithful may strive to seek holiness in their daily lives let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. That the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may trust in God who strengthens them with the warmth of his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. That the COVID-19 pandemic come to a swift resolution with the recovery of the sick the protection of those who have been exposed, for experts to find a cure, for government and health authorities to take an appropriate steps to halt the spread, and that we, the faithful, act responsibly for the good of all. We pray. Father, consecrate us to yourself. That those who have died may live forever with God who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. Gentle Father, as long as we love one another, you live in us, and your love will complete in us. Receive our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. from us. 
pray, my sisters and brothers, that the sacrifice of mine and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to load you, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy and religious. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially the souls who command in this mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and to us, your brothers and sisters today, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with peace you all. With you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers in Christ, there is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our prayer to the Mother of Perpetual Help, 
will follow light after the Mass. Let us pray. May our partaking of these divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers in Christ, our celebration has been offered. We now all go and continue to follow Jesus. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, Father you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you, merciful Father. Forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. We may always live as your truly devoted children. Nubina Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, the cross Jesus gave you to us for our Mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost cross us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never, that God never prays prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intention and for the intentions of all here present at this Nubina, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying. Give hope to the poor and unemployed. Heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to the oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from Heavenly Father and from one another, full of trust in You. We place ourselves under the mantle of Your maternal protection and confidently hope for powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we chose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love and honor and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part on making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to go daily in genuine love of God and neighbor. 
so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help, Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, help us. That we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, help us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever and by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, help us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in events of daily life. Loving Mother, help us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, help us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, help us. That we may reverence our bodies and temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, help that us. That we may be strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, help us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, help us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, help us. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, religious men and women, and all the clergy. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, help us. That we may bring the knowledge of love Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, help us. That we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow, fellow men. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, help us to pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, help us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Together, Holy Loving Mary, Mother, help us. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, help, help us, us in our, our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May we all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, through the present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through our intercession, and especially through the Novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, you bore our sufferings, sufferings and, and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. 
Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Mother of perpetual help, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. to 